Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you see, we're back in the kitchen again. Uh, we're going to be doing another cooking video. Coins have kind of slowed down for a little bit. I just paid a lot of money for uh, AC, so I need to take a rest for a moment. Um, I will start doing some videos on uh, some of the existing coins that I have, like varieties and BAMs stuff like that but uh today we're going to do a uh classic recipe we're going to do uh fried chicken wings and instead of uh putting them in a the fryer we're going to do an air fryer now this works for your common countertop air fryer or your smaller air fryer but my oven actually is a uh, brand new one and it has an air fryer feature so we'll be doing this in the oven be right back so we are starting off with eight full wings um i've already cut up most of them i'm leaving one to show you where how to cut these up um like i said with my oven there's an air fryer feature i'll set the 400 and check that there's nothing in there. Yep. And then I'll push start. Now this is uh, warming up my air fryer. And let me show you how to cut these. Now, you want to take the wing. You hit the elbow right here. And you give it a good squeeze so it flattens out and you want to cut right here at the elbow you don't try to slice one second all right you don't try to slice i apologize it's not one to cooperate you open it up and you, then you find the joint and you push down once you're through the joint, then you uh, kind of saw that till it comes apart. And you have the flap and you have the drumstick. Again, I've already done the rest of them, so we're about ready to go. I'll be right back on seasoning these. All right, now we're back. Um, again, since this is an oven with an air fryer, they do make air fryer baskets for ovens. Uh, you can usually find these on Amazon for about 19 to 25 dollars. And again, the point of an air fryer is not to have to use oil, but you do have to use it in this recipe to um, get the seasonings to stick to the wings. But you don't want to use a lot. I suggest maybe a tablespoon. <clears throat> Alright, in my seasoning mix, I use onion powder. Let me put this where you can see it and I can point. Again, there's onion powder. Uh, about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons of garlic, uh, granulated garlic, about a half tablespoon of salt, about a teaspoon of uh, pepper, and about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And you want to just toss it in there. Shake it around a little bit, and you end up tossing. I'll be right back. Alright, so when you're done tossing, they should come out evenly coated like this. Uh, you can use a hand to stir the chicken wings around to get them to coat if you're not good with tossing. Just make sure you wash your hands very well afterwards. Alright, so we want to place these wings about as evenly as possible. But keep space between them. Because if you have them touching, the air fryer doesn't, or the air in the oven does not touch 
certain part of the wings and they don't cook. So, there's a touching. So, we'll just evenly space these out, but do not, again, do not let them touch. And once we get these in the oven, we'll start making the buffalo sauce. You actually make mine from scratch instead of getting the Franks. If you run out of room, they can touch a little bit, but I suggest don't let them touch too much. Go ahead and just kind of space out as much as you can. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, as you see, these are uh, pretty well spaced out on the air fryer basket. So uh, you want to go ahead and put these in the air fryer oven. Um, if you do them in the countertop, you might want to do four to six, depending on size at a time. And every five minutes, pull it out and give it a good shake to uh, stir them around a little bit. Uh, but if you do them in the oven here, you don't have to pull them out, but you do have to check on them every about 15 minutes. So I'm going to put it in for about uh, 15 minutes right now. Come back and check. I would expect to take about 25 minutes on this. Be right back. So with the buffalo sauce, um, I like mine quite a bit garlicky. So of course I use a lot of garlic. You want about a half a stick of butter. This is a little bit more because I didn't want to really waste the rest of it. I don't use butter on much anything except for this. So you want to take the butter and go ahead and melt it down. This will take a few moments, so I'll be right back. Alright, while we're waiting on that to melt, it's about fully melted right now. Um, we will go ahead and I'll show you the rest of the ingredients. Um, as much garlic as you want, I use about two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of minced. About uh, two tablespoons of hot sauce, any hot sauce you like about a tablespoon and a half of white vinegar some smoked paprika and if you can't tell that's one of my favorite seasonings I use it in about everything uh, about a teaspoon of each literally uh, black pepper and chili powder uh, while that's about melted and feels like it's about ready to sizzle here we'll go ahead and throw the garlic in let that sit for a bit so the garlic can um should i say the flavor can escape in the butter a lot easier i would give it i would stir it for about a minute minute and a half until it becomes very fragrant Right now it's pretty fragrant, but uh, in about a minute, a minute and a half, it becomes very fragrant. You want to wait till the, the uh, butter is nice and bubbly. Let me get myself a butter trap here. I'm just putting a spoon flat on my uh, stove top here and not actually putting it on anything. There we go. As it's simmering there, you can uh, smell it getting stronger and stronger. When you think it's about time, go ahead and throw your dry spices in.
and give it a good stir. Go ahead and drop your temperature. Right now I have it on a, about medium high. I'm going to drop it down to about medium low. Kind of take it off for a second so it doesn't overcook. Go ahead and pour in your vinegar. That'll calm it down for a second. So this is your base for your buffalo sauce. It really doesn't turn into a buffalo sauce until you add the hot sauce to it. There we go. Give it a good stir. And at this point, like I said, you can use whatever hot sauce you want. Um, there is no particular one that I can recommend. Um, but at this point, you can add as much or as little as you want. But as long as you put that much in right there, it's enough to make the uh, buffalo sauce. We'll put that back on there to simmer. And we'll be back in a moment when uh, the chicken or when the wings come out. Just every once in a while, keep an eye on this. Just make sure you uh, stir it while it's simmering. We'll see you in a moment. All right, at this point, 15 minutes are up. Let me get my oven glove on. Not quite done yet, but at 15 minutes here, they're at a point where I can uh, go on to the next step. Some people like to uh, wait till the very end to put the uh, sauce on the wings. I like to actually put them on and put them back in the oven and let it cook on. So we go ahead and put them back in the bowl that we had earlier. Went ahead and washed everything out of it. My hat keeps hitting the camera arm. Right now they're a little crispy. They're not crispy enough yet. But like I said, you want to cook the sauce into them. Push you back. Give it a good stir. And evenly coat the wings. Now again, I'm used to doing this, so I know how to toss them. It's more of a flick of the wrist. Get them nice and coated. And once you have them coated, you go ahead and put them back on the basket. Again, you don't want them to touch too much. 
which is a little bit harder when you're using tongs. Trying to put them on evenly, and if the uh, camera bounces every once in a while again, it's my hat hitting the stand. I apologize. so I'm going to put it back in for another 15 minutes or so and we'll actually I'll put it in for 10 minutes because it's good to actually sit there and check on it every 10 minutes so let me put them back in clumsy with this glove. Alright, we'll be back in about 10 minutes and see where we're at. So as you can see, they're sizzling pretty good in there. I don't know if you can hear that over the dishwasher. But I'm about 5 minutes from getting these out. Out of the 10 minute time I had. We're back all right, 10 minutes is up. Let's go ahead and uh, pull these out. Let me get my oven mitt on. Again, only being able to use one one hand, so. Now you'll see uh, fog and smoke for a second. The fire alarm goes off, forgive me. Oh yeah, these are done. So we'll stop them right there. As you see, they're pretty dark. I'm pretty sure they're pretty well crispy. So at this point, I will transfer them to the uh, sauce. Let them sit for about five minutes. And give them a good coat once they're done here. This is about where you want your wings. Uh, you can go another five, ten minutes if you like them crispier. But this to me is about the perfect spot. So about 25 minutes cooking, uh, separated 15 and 10. slide this over bring this in give them a good toss and you want to let them sit in this for about five minutes so they soak it on um, when you're ready to serve you toss them again just slide them on the plate and that should be it serve them with a uh, um, celery or carrots whichever you like um, blue cheese ranch I've actually seen people take ranch and add them to the sauce which I've done that before too and it's actually really good uh, you can take dry ranch powder just add to the sauce here or you can uh, take pre-made ranch dressing and add to the sauce toss them in that um i i pretty much like them this way i don't add much more to it so uh that's it for this week uh we'll be back next week i will probably uh do some videos here on um some of the vams that i've collected over the years with the uh morgans and peace dollars until then, guys, y'all enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next week.